So this week we're talking more about logistic regression. Last week we talked about logistic regression basically as a descriptive technique. Um, we talked about how to interpret some of the coefficients and how to visualize the model in a number of different spaces. And now we're going to um, think more about assessing our model. So uh, you remember our choose, fit, assess, use model. Uh, we're going to choose a logistic regression model. We're going to fit it using R. Uh, then we need to assess the model and finally we can use it. Uh, we've kind of talked about choosing and fitting and a little bit about using and then the piece that we're going to fill in here is assessing the model. So uh, the problem with logistic regression or one problem is that we don't have sums of squares and that means we can't use R squared or ANOVA or nested F tests or a lot of the ways that we learned how to assess the fit of a linear regression model. But uh, the model was fit using maximum likelihood estimation, and so we can compute a bunch of likelihoods. So the likelihood of success, that is the fitted probability of, of success, uh, pi hat. The likelihood of failure is one minus, this didn't turn into my pi, uh, one minus uh, pi hat. Uh, and then if we wanted to think about the likelihood of the model, it would be uh, the product. So this uh, symbol is the product uh, in the same way that uh, this symbol is the sum, uh, the uppercase pi is the product. So the product from i equal 1 to n of the likelihood uh, for a particular yi. So we can have likelihoods for a number of different things. Um, and the likelihood values are often very small. Um, that's one of the reasons why we use the log likelihood. And the log likelihood will always be negative. Um, if we have a larger log likelihood, it's closer to zero. It's therefore a better fit. And um, we've got a number of hypothesis tests that we might want to do. So the most uh, simple one is just uh, the hypothesis test for a particular slope. So is beta 1 equal to 0 or is beta 1 not equal to 0? And the way that we would assess that is with our walled statistic. So just like we did in linear regression, we're going to take beta 1 hat over the standard error of beta 1 hat, uh, but then we're going to find the p-value in the normal distribution. So that's slightly different than linear regression where we, we were using the t-distribution. So, uh, you know, I would find a z-score and then I would think about uh, the normal distribution and I'd look out how extreme is my uh, z-score and then I would find my p-value, which is the amount of the distribution that's as extreme or more extreme than my statistic. So that's the hypothesis test for the slope. We could also have a hypothesis test for the model. So this is kind of like uh, we had an F statistic and a P value for our entire model when we were doing linear regression. Now we're gonna have a G statistic and a P value for our entire model in logistic regression. And this one, our null hypothesis is that all the betas are equal to zero and the alternative is at least one of them is not equal to zero. And the way that we assess uh, that uh, hypothesis is we do what's called a drop in deviance test. And this will have a G statistic, which is negative two times the log of the likelihood of the constant model minus negative two times the log of the likelihood from our model that we're trying to assess. So L sub zero, that's the likelihood from the constant model, which just uses the mean and L is the likelihood from your larger model, which has a predictor or two or three or however many. Um, and the way that we find the p-value is we locate G in a chi-squared distribution. Uh, the chi-squared distribution has degrees of freedom. So um, you use uh, K degrees of freedom where K is the number of predictors.
And then there's one more type of hypothesis test that we might want to do, which is a, a nested likelihood ratio test. So this is similar to a nested F test, which let us compare linear models. This is a nested likelihood ratio test that lets us compare two logistic models. Uh, we find the G statistic like before, but uh, we use the likelihood of the two models. So we use the likelihood from the smaller model and the likelihood from the larger model. Um, and we find the p-value by locating g, again, in a chi-square distribution, uh, but it has k2 degrees of freedom, where k2 is the number of additional predictors in that larger model. So again, pretty similar to the nested f-test. So hypothesis tests are one way to assess the model. 